Good morning. My name is Tom. I come to you from Northern Maine. I have two reasons why you should subscribe to this channel. The first one is you've already clicked on one of my thumbnails. So that means you have some interest in what this old boy's content is about. The second reason is this channel and its content is all about the great outdoors, whether it be fishing, hunting, boating, hiking, uh, map and compass. So subscribe to the channel if you'd like to, uh, and let's get on to what today's topic is about. Good morning, my name is Tom. I'm coming to you from a rustic log cabin in northern Maine. Welcome to my cabin. Uh, the reason I'm doing this today is it is raining outside uh, like cats and dogs. But in between showers today, I would like to bring you out and I'd like to show you my off-grid uh, weather station for deer hunting. It's a DIY uh, for sure project for any deer hunter uh, that is off-grid if you want a local weather forecast. And you don't get any more local than uh, uh, right where you're hunting. Uh, the nearest, if I can get an app on my, on my phone, on my tablet, the nearest uh, weather station from here is about 30 miles away. So that doesn't sound like much. It's a, it's a uh, private weather station uh, that he's on, uh, let's see, Weather Underground. Uh, weather Underground app I have on my tablet. And he's 30 miles from here which doesn't sound like much. But if you want, if you want real local uh, weather direction, uh, stuff like that, I hunt exclusively uh, by the wind. Uh, so I want instant. I want, I want to know what the weather direction is for where I am hunting. I have several ground blinds uh, in the area that I hunt, and uh, I will not sit in any ground blind uh, that the wind direction isn't a hundred percent in my favor. Uh, otherwise than that, it's just a waste of time. And that's why I have several ground blinds uh, that are, are located on on really good sites. I've been many years uh, scouting this area, so I have lots of places and I have lots of opportunity that I can work with the wind direction. So while it's not raining, I'm going to bring you outside and I am going to show you the main feature of my off-grid weather station for deer hunting. Now I know for some of you this is not going to be a high-tech enough app for a weather station for you. This is for the rest of us, the ones that uh, like to hunt and that's all that we do. Uh, this right here is just a piece of survey flag tape. I have an apple tree in front of my cabin. I have two flags in it. If this thing, this thing will blow It'll move with any kind of wind. You can see it dancing around there now. If it's blowing this way, the wind is out of the south. If it's blowing this way, the wind is out of the west. This way is east. <laughs> that way is south. This is accurate for right here, right now, real time weather direction. I don't need to get on my cell phone, I don't need to get on my tablet to figure out wind direction that they're only going to give me the wind direction from either the nearest town or the nearest weather station, like I said, the nearest one from here is 30 miles away. This is real time, local, right here where I am hunting uh, with my ground blinds. And on the trails leading out to some of my ground blinds, I have flag tape also. So that if I get headed in that direction and the wind isn't quite right for that stand, I turn around, I go find another ground blind that I've already assembled that is in the right direction. There might be three or four ground blinds around one good setting area so that I can get the perfect location uh, for setting on that particular deer trail. So this right here is my wind direction. And just as a joke, a kind of little bit of main humor, if this flag is wet, it's raining. It's that simple. If it's dry, it's not raining. Uh, that's a little bit of main humor. We'll get into that some other day. But this is how I tell my weather direction. 
Now I'm going to take you to the second feature of my, I have three pieces that make up uh, this, this uh, weather station here at the cabin. This is for wind direction. And now I'll take you over to the uh, piece number two. This is piece number two of my weather station here at the cabin. For those of you that don't recognize this because it's not on a cell phone or it's not in a tablet, this is a thermometer. It reads in Fahrenheit and it reads in Celsius. I check this thermometer before I go to bed. I might check it in the middle of the night when I'm up here on my deer hunt. So between this thermometer, my flag on that tree, I have two bases of my DIY weather station here at the cabin uh, covered. Now I'll be moving on to part three of this uh, weather station. That is a barometer, a hydrometer, as well as a temperature. The barometer will tell me the highs and the lows and all of that. That's the main thing that I use off this is the barometer. So I want to just throw that in there. That's th three major pieces of equipment for a off-grid weather station barometer. My thermometer that I showed you earlier and the orange flag that's out in the tree. With those three items you can really plan your hunt uh, very well with no apt from a cell phone or a tablet. Just using your noodle and coming out and watching the weather for yourself and you get a reliable local forecast for this piece of ground that I would be hunting on is a cup of coffee now how you how this is all wireless there's this is all wireless it doesn't take Wi-Fi it doesn't take electricity so you take a cup of coffee you come out here on the front porch and you watch the flag watch it for a few minutes get up in the morning before you're ready to go deer hunting uh, check your wind direction off the flag uh, check your thermometer so that you have that and take two or three times. That's why I say cup of coffee. Sit here and keep track of your weather and then look up at the sky. Learn your clouds. Learn your different, you know, everybody knows if it's going to be sunny. Everybody knows if it's going to be cloudy. Uh, you can tell from the color of the clouds if we've got a thunderstorm coming in or you've got a tremendous amount of rain coming in. Learn to watch your weather yourself. Use your own noodle. You don't got to look everything up on a tablet or on a cell phone to get your local weather forecast at your cabin. Now I realize I'm making a little bit of fun here at technology, but it's true. We don't need a lot of high-tech gadgets and high-tech tools to figure out the local weather forecast at your cabin or at your hunting spot. Uh, the flags and feathers have been used for years and years and years to figure out the wind direction. Think about it. Even at an airport, they have a wind sock. Uh, no technology there. The wind sock blows whatever direction the wind is blowing. The airplane knows how to land at the airport. It's no difference here. I got a wind sock out in that tree telling me which way the wind is blowing. And that way I'll know which way to land on which ground blind to hunt for today. So keep that in mind the next time you're at your cabin, this little tip on DIY, I mean <laughs> DIY uh, weather station at your cabin. And I hope you have a great hunt. At the end of this video, I will put up some links to some of the uh, tips and techniques that I use for whitetail deer hunting. So click on one of those links and I'll have some, I guess it's over in this corner, up in the right hand corner I'll have some cards coming out that will take you to some playlists that are all about uh, whitetail deer hunting in northern Maine. So I will see you in the next video.